finally friday everybody good morning good morning oh i'm in the mud yay um it's a little bit wet out here i've been uh it's kind of like been like drizzling here and there and it's just enough out here this is like the one place that has clay out here near the beach everything else where i work is typically nothing but sand as far deep as you can dig it but this one client of mine has clay out here and it's a mess but we've got to grind some more stumps today for him so let's take a look at what we got and we'll go ahead and uh, try to get to grinding all right got the asv out here with the preen off and you can see it's a bit slick and muddy you can see the the ruts right there from the owner's tractor and you can see this is all just clay out here or like a sand clay mix and when it gets just a little bit wet it gets slick as eel doo doo but he wants to grind these stumps because they just he just has not been able to get them to burn so i'll check with him see if he wants to do this pile or that pile i don't know if it really matters but i'm gonna go grab his mini with the bucket and i'm gonna start pulling some of this stuff out and hopefully we can make a nice mulch pile and uh get on top of the mulch pile and not be too much in the mud today because it is wet and mucky and muddy and my feet are already caked and there's some metal right there yeah look at my boots oh my oh my goodness what is this uh, all right well that's what we got to do so not much to it nothing real super technical about it so i'm gonna quit my jabbering and we're gonna get to work All right, that first batch of stumps went pretty well. Um, there's a couple logs in there too. Mostly pine, I think there was a oak in, one or two oaks in there as well. If I can stay on top of this mulch bed and build this up, we'll stay kind of nice and high and dry right here. You can see where the mini rutted it up real, real bad with me just initially trying to get in there and get to those stumps. So I'm gonna maybe try to come around this way and get in from this side, bring some of that stuff onto the pile here and then we'll just keep grinding it down. All right, everybody, we're in the mini. Trying to get these stumps out of this hole. I'm trying to knock off some of the dirt off some of them. They're, some of them are big. Oh, let's see if we can get this one out. I, I want to roll it over. Let's see how much dirt's on the back side. U55 so much he went and bought one. 
now he's looking at getting an ASV. I brought the prenoth out here with that other spare set of teeth that I have because I knew these stumps were gonna be full of dirt and I didn't want to bring the TMC out here and ruin a brand new set of teeth that I just bought on these stumps that are just full of this dirt off out here and use that spare set that I already had that we're just basically taking up space in my shop we'll just throw that down there I guess we'll pick this tall one up right here it's got some some of this stuff has got some old wire fence in it that I do not like When you're burning wire fence don't make no big deal really but if you're mulching that's a problem let's see how much dirt this thing has on the butt end of it oh it's got a good bit
Well, that pile is gone. Uh, just for, I don't, I don't remember the count of how many actual stumps we ground up out of there, but I know it took exactly six hours to grind that pile. So, uh, the owner's really happy with everything so far. He's already paid me for the day. He left about 30 minutes ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the mini and we're gonna go ahead and start pulling some stuff out of this pile. And I'm gonna stack it kind of like right in this area and then we're gonna work that, make another mulch pile kind of going this way. Um, and that's what we're gonna do until the end of the day for about another two hours. So let's do some more grinding. Alrighty, folks that is it for today got uh maybe a third of that pile done not definitely not all of it <clears throat> but we definitely put a dent in it got all that pile done so yeah this is coming along i'm going on monday with the owner of this property we are going down to savannah because he's looking at buying one of these 120s 
and uh, it doesn't come with a mulcher head, but um, it's a 2021, I think, or 20, I think it's a 2021 or 22. I forget. It's it's one or two years newer than mine, <clears throat> but uh, he doesn't know a whole lot about these machines, so he wants me to go with him so I can take a look at it. Uh, but yeah, so beautiful sunset this evening here. But we got a lot done today. He's starting to bring in some fill dirt and fill all this low area in right here. I gave him the number to my, the guy that uh, does my tracks will work when I need dirt or something. <clears throat> so looks like that's coming along, but it's a little wet, it's a little rutted up, but he'll get it. So I think he's gonna take all this mulch and uh, just try to spread it along the ground in here and then just cover it over with dirt or mix it in, one of the two. And it should be fine. He's just gonna let it grow up to grass out here. I don't know, it may end up being farmed. This may end up be in farm field. He wants to turn, I know he wants to turn all that over there into a farm field. So I think that's about 20 acres over there on the other side of that ditch. But all right, I'm gonna get all this equipment put up. I gotta get the mini put up. I gotta get uh, this thing blown off and blown out and put up on the trailer. So pretty enough did a great job in here today. The teeth definitely took a bit of a, of a beating for sure. They definitely got some wear on them grinding those hard stumps, but I knew that was to be expected. I knew that was to be expected and that's why I put this set on there. And that's why I brought this particular head out here, not the TMC. But I think I'm going to, after this set wears out, I'm going to go from about like right here-ish to about like right in here-ish something. And I'm going to, I'll measure it so it's even. And I'm going to put carbides on this. You can put carbides on this Prenoth. Prenoth just came out with a new carbide design and I really like it. And so this will be like, the mulcher that I come do like stumps and groundwork with or like farm properties where I know I'm gonna hit metal or brick or junk or something like that you know I can take that in there with those carbides and I have to worry about really hurting the, the teeth on it too much so I think that's what I'm gonna do most likely so good times got it done owners happy so far with everything so that's all that matters he's happy I'm happy so all right, well, I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful sunset while I get uh, everything uh, squared away and loaded up, and I will check you guys on the next one. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.